This video is a little bit different. I thought it would take you and me in the journey of submitting some proposals on Upwork. So you can see what I look for in job posts, how I write them, how I find the job posts in the first place, all that good stuff. And I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I'm actually recording this the day before I'm posting. I had another video planned, but it's currently 38 degrees or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's just too hot to record a normal video. So this is what I came up with. If you wanna submit proposals alongside me, you can have me on the second monitor or on your phone, or you can just watch and then feel inspired to submit your own proposals. So let's do this. I'm using Upnotify to find these jobs. So if you don't know, basically Upnotify gathers all your searches in one place and then lets you generate AI proposals. You can just paste it here. Obviously, I would add, you know, the line breaks to make it more readable here. And I would proofread it and add my own twist to it in parts that make sense. It even adds a joke right here. I don't know how good that is because I haven't read it. But yeah, and then you can, you know, if the client asks for questions, you can obviously fill those out. Out. But yeah, it's pretty simple and it saves you a lot of time in your proposal sending. Now, let me go ahead and make use of those, you know, extra connects I get this month. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I wanted to share my thoughts on this one and share why I'm probably not going to be applying to it. Oh, yeah, awesome. The more I go down, <laughs> the more convinced I am. But basically, so what I first looked at it was the job post itself. And I was really interested because I love anything that's fun and creative. And this speaks to that part of me. And then I saw they spent almost 4k but the average hourly rate is seven dollars and that's quite low and also here another red flag the fixed price a hundred and they're looking for an intermediate person i'm guessing this is like a hundred dollars a month or it's just a placeholder but even then if i come here to the client's recent history they hired someone for seo for five dollars an hour which i think it's kind of ridiculous and like if we compare it to this virtual assistant they hired at 10 an hour like it doesn't make sense like virtual assistant obviously it's a more entry-level job that by the way i recommend anyone who's starting out who doesn't know what they want to offer and doesn't have much experience try being a virtual assistant it pays less but it allows you to learn a lot about your clients, their industry, and the different types of services you can offer. So it's kind of like an internship for freelancers. But yeah, then I see here, obviously, virtual assistant, $5 an hour. You know, it's low. But I would personally, if I went back now, I would start at 10 or 15. But I have done it for five and I don't think it's too bad. But as you can see, this person had a really bad experience. So yeah, and then you see, where is it? Full Shopify site build for 250. But I think I saw, yeah, there's another one that did a full Shopify site build. So apparently they weren't happy with the previous one or it's a, for a different brand. And they paid $75 for a website. And then you have here someone saying she didn't provide details and she's not professional. You know, overall, just next this one and uh, yeah now i'm going to look through the other ones hold on i hadn't realized obviously since i joined upwork plus one of the perks is i can see how much people are bidding for this so this is for four ugc posts per month so to give you an idea my rate for this is 150 per video or 100 per video if it's a bundle deal so here i could go either way like 500 you know anywhere between 600 and 400 is what i would quote for this so the 500 fixed price sounds okay to me it's on the lower end obviously but i would still apply but you can see here the bid range so you have the highest person bid 
800, the average is 414, and the lowest is 35, which I'm guessing is like poor attention. But yeah, and another thing I like to see is when it was posted versus when it was last viewed. Obviously, this isn't great, you know, 20 to 50 people applied, nine hours ago last viewed when it was posted 10 hours ago, they invited 17 people and they're interviewing 11. So I'm not sure I'm gonna apply to this one, although the budget is quite good. But how many connects? This one's for six, so it's not too bad. But I'll maybe leave it for last. Because these 97 connects I have will last me a month. So with the help of a notify, I'm pretty sure I'll go through them. Okay, I decided I want to apply to this one. So let me see. Budget $5,000 to generate ideas and maybe thumbnails for YouTube. If this is their channel, I, <laughs> I was just watching it yesterday. 60 an hour average. Sounds pretty good. You can see it was posted one day ago, last check one day ago, but it has not that many proposals. So I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark for this one. Um, yesterday was Sunday anyway. So let's see, let's see, let's see. highest 5,000, average 4,000 and low 12. No way, that's real. But yeah, let me come up with a budget based on what they need. Just as a placeholder, you can always negotiate stuff later. So general profile because it's not necessarily social media nor video editing. So what did I say? Four to fit. Not that much. And I'm gonna say three to six months because I'm looking to potentially go long term with that. Okay, this is the one I didn't want. This one I didn't want either. It was the cheap client. UGC video creators needed. This is the one I left for later. Full time marketing VA. This one I deleted also. YouTube idea creator. It's this one. So let's refresh this for the sake of it. Hey there, I've been in the social media game since 2015. Oh, let's go to the chase in here. Third time's a charm. Okay, I can work with this. So let me paste it right here. And they're pitching me the AI they're working with. I, I don't get it. Sometimes it adds line breaks, sometimes it doesn't. But people are making some use. I'm not gonna boost this one, I don't think. So, hey there, I've been rocking the social media game since 2015, specializing in Instagram and video content. I am up to date on all the latest trends and best practices. Actually, I like starting with a hook, and I think I knew the client's name, didn't I, from the job post? I think it was Greg, but I don't want to mistakenly call it something else. Hey, Greg, I've been rocking the social media game. Okay, let's do this line break and I paste this here. Let's bring some viral ideas to your YouTube channel. I've been rocking the social media game since 2015, specializing in Instagram and video content. I'm also an avid YouTube watcher, like all the time, including the Be Maze. I don't know if this is too much information, but I'll run with it. Why can't I seem to add emojis? Let's see where is the can be a cat. Let's delete this. I'm all about helping clients achieve their business objectives with my creative side and expertise in graphic design and video production. I don't want to say graphic design and video production. I want to say I'd be happy to whip up five to ten incredible video ideas every day that will have your viewers hitting that share button like watching every single time. Plus, I'm totally down to help you with nails as well. And instead of these, because they're, they feel kind of random, although yeah, ideas, I get it, but damn it, because I'm recording, I can't add emojis with my touch bar, I don't think. Ones that'll make your audience stop scrolling and start clicking. I love this. Honestly, the, the tone of voice of this AI is amazing. So what do you say? Head over to my website. I don't want to link them to my website. Feel free to hit me up with any questions. I'm here to help. 
Did you hear how the mathematician was afraid of negative numbers? He'll stop at nothing to avoid them. Well, yeah, I get that, but, it, but yeah, I don't want to go that far with this one. But yeah, let's sim. Yes, I do understand. I've been on Oprah for 10 years. Thank you. And now I think I'm going to apply to this one because just for the sake of it, it's six connects anyway. So what do I have to use? Let's see. It's not this. This is the scan client. It's probably for another video. Okay, so now this one, let's see, this is for UGC videos. Okay, I'm gonna send this one with minor edits. Let's see the difference. I can keep you updated if I remember. I never know which one of my profiles is for UGC, so because UGC is kind of video, kind of social, social media strategist and UGC creator. Okay, social media. Well, let's go with that. Now let's pitch Aldo the 400 because like I said, totally down for it and it fits their budget. One to three months for now. And I didn't look at the client's name. Let's find the client's name. Do, 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 do. do you have their name? No, you wrote a lot, but you didn't add their name. By the way, guys, it's you, Everly Seedback. Leave the name of the client just so future freelancers can have that information. Great client. Yeah, it's so great that you forgot their name. Detail oriented. Okay, never mind. I don't have a name for them. No, just be no name. Hey there. I've been in the social media game since 2015, specializing in Instagram and video content. I know all the latest trends and best practice, but enough about me. Let's talk about you. I want to put an exclamation mark. I'm here to help you choose your business objectives. And no, that's love. In my opinion, my expertise in influencer marketing, video editing. I don't have that much experience in influencer marketing, but video creation, video production and editing, plus my social media knowledge, I'll create four awesome UGC style videos per month that will engage your audience and boost your brand. We don't have a winky face here yet, so let's add it here. Let's make some magic happen. Shiny, let's add a shiny here. Head to my website. Let's see UG, oops, UG content. This is a shortcut I have to add my portfolio to see my UGC port. Portfolio. Let's put, you can head to my website. Yeah. So what do you say? Feel free to let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help. Okay. Three best videos you've done that you're proud of. Now I got to go into my own website. I always assume that it's going to auto populate. Let's delete this. And what's this brand about? I forgot. Food and beverage. So by the way, you can see that right here. Let me show you. Right here says food and beverage, small company. Sometimes it says that, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, please share your best three videos that you've done and that you're proud of. I really like this one, I think. And it's food, it's just not human food. Are you gonna load it? Please do. Thank you for not loading. Okay, this one. Let's see one from Lifestyle, which is the... This is kind of food and beverage related. Okay, I like this one. Maybe not the best video I've done, but food and beverage. This is not really food and beverage. Ew, this one looks so good. But is it videos? Yeah, they asked for videos. Let me pin this for later. Hmm, is this the one that got me the most? No, this is the ASMR version. I think this is the one. Well, let's put this one for the sake of it. So yeah, let's send another one. I hope you either took this time to submit proposals alongside me or that you are now inspired to go ahead and submit a least fun proposal. Do that favor for me. Find one job that you really, really want to apply to and send one proposal. And let me know down in the comments how that goes. And and by the way, if you want to use Up Notify, I'll have the code right here on the screen that you can use to get a discount. I believe it gives you a $15 discount at checkout. So go ahead, try it out. I have tried other AI platforms in the past, but this one really gets my tone of voice. So I really enjoy it for that. On that note, if you want to see other AI tools for submitting proposals on Upwork, check out this other video right here and I'll see you there.